In this episode, we will talk about how to extract energy from a black hole, the Penrose process. Let's enjoy it. A black hole is formed when a huge amount of mass is concentrated in a small... Black holes in general rotate around their central axis. The correct solution for this kind of system is the Kerr solution. The solution is not spherically symmetric, instead it is axially symmetric, containing in this way a new parameter, namely the angular momentum of the black hole. But then it comes out the question, how do we extract energy from a rotating black hole? In order to reply this question, we have to understand the space-time structure of this black hole. The Kerr solution contains two killing vectors, one related to the time translational symmetry, which guarantees that the black hole is stationary, but not static. The other symmetry is related to the axial symmetry, which is guaranteed by the existence of the corresponding killing vector. The even horizon structure of this black hole suggests the existence of two even horizons both interior and not exterior. The external living horizon is of interest, and interestingly, it is a space-like surface which becomes null only at the poles of the black hole. The null surface for this black hole is called ergosphere, while the space between the ergosphere and the external living horizon is called ergoregion. Any object located inside the ergoregion is dragged around the direction of rotation of the black hole. For understanding the Penrose process, let's imagine that we are inside a spaceship traveling toward a black hole. Let's imagine now that we enter inside the Ergo region, the region where the black hole drags us around it. Now throw an object in the direction opposite to the direction of rotation of the black hole. In such a case, you will be able to go outside the Ergo region with an energy higher than the one you had initially. In exchange, naturally, the energy of the black hole decreases due to the influence of the negative contribution due to the rocket. In addition, the angular momentum of the black hole also decreases. My surprise about the Penrose process is not the fact that you emerge from the black hole with an energy larger than what you had initially. What is really surprising is that the energy, the amount of energy which you had after emerging the black hole is larger than what you have initially plus the contribution of the rocket. So this means a natural extraction of the energy from the black hole. We can use certainly black holes as source of infinite amount of energy. In summary, once you enter inside the ergo region of the black hole and then you throw a rocket in the appropriate direction, since the energy of the rocket is negative inside the ergo region, then naturally you will be able to emerge from this ergo region with an energy superior to the energy you had originally. This is a natural consequence of the conservation of the total energy of the system. This is a way to use the black holes as source of useful energy. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.